A man living in North Dakota wants to build the country's first ever bastion for white supremacists. And when we say that, we don't mean like, you know, a community for gun owners, like they always say. No, this is officially going to be a bastion for white supremacists. And so his name is Craig Paul Cobb. He's a 61 year old. He recently moved into a town in North Dakota called Life, I believe it's pronounced, where only 19 people live. And because the, the real estate there is extremely cheap, he is now buying it up and encouraging other white supremacists to move in and join him there. Now, we have a lot of details about him, some interesting quotes, but initial reaction. All right, first of all, he says, I will give you the property to live on, but you must fly a Nazi flag uh, or, or other... racialist flag. Or other yeah. racialist <laughs> flags, racialist. I love that. And he said... Racialist. So, um... Like and, Confederate flag, I, I guess... I would, assume so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. And, yeah, and yeah. it made me think, my God, no one lives in North Dakota. You know why? He bought one of the homes for $5,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. $5,000 for a home? Where is there he like going to find homes, yeah. white people in North Dakota? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love yeah. some of his quotes. But there is a black guy in the town. There's only 18 one. people yes. in the whole town. and yeah, one Bobby Harper. One black guy. Yeah, yeah and he's... He, there he's goes not the sure he's buying into this new plan, <laughs> the new redistricting in Nazi town. Right. Yeah. He could so sell well. his home for a lot right now, though. Like, the property values probably went way up. Like, Bobby Harper <laughs> could, like, charge $300,000 for his home in Lake. Oh, God. Uh, so <laughs> why don't we give some of the details about yeah, this uh, is Craig great. Paul Cobb. So just to give you an idea of his history, uh, he moved to Estonia in 2005, but was later deported to Canada, where he was arrested in 2010 on federal charges of willful promotion of hatred. He fled back to the United States, where we tend to uh, not frown all that much on promotion of hatred. Hold um, for a second there. I love that. He probably fled to Estonia to, to be with white people. I'm yeah. like, free. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, no. You're so loathsome. <laughs> we're going to deport you. Right. Yeah. And then he goes to Canada. He gets kicked out of Canada. Finally, he comes back to the U.S. He's like, oh, thanks, God. I'm back in, Can yeah. in the U.S. <laughs> right. And who knew that Estonia and Canada had an extradition treaty? That's what school did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the, the, the idea that, I mean, that's one of the great things about America, though, i got to say, is that he can come here and he can hate as much as he wants. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's part of the, part no, of the was, deal. My guess is he was trying to get away from the multiculturalism and right. by the end he was like oh my god thank god the multicultural right. u.s took me back there's yeah. nobody for, here for me to hate in estonia <laughs> yeah. i gotta go to where i can hate people there's well, that too the, the, the right. problem is you're allowed to hate but we know that in a month he's gonna start stockpiling ammunition of and course. fertilizer to make bombs and he'll be arrested or it'll be the next wake up he, he says he already has a concrete uh, bunker slash prison for prison. liberals. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, so why don't, why don't we read some well. of it? He's trying to sell this idea to, to other other responsible radical hardcore white nationalists. He doesn't want irresponsible <laughs> radical yeah, hardcore nationalists. Yeah, other irresponsible yeah. Nazis? Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I only uh, want responsible radicals. Okay? But he, he was yeah. speaking recently about it, and he wants to sell it to people. So he says, imagine strolling over to your neighbors to discuss world politics with nearly all like-minded uh, Volk. Uh, it sounds like a V for Vendetta. Uh, imagine the international publicity and usefulness to our cause. For starters, we could de declare a Mexican illegal invaders and Israeli Mossad IDF spies no-go zone. No, no Israeli spies. You get out of here. Okay, um, hold, hold on a second. I think that North Dakota is already a no-go zone for, <laughs> yeah. for the idea. I'm not sure the Israeli Defense yeah. Force are like, what do you think, North or South Dakota? Where do we go? Yeah. <laughs> It's Who thinks there's IDF and Mossad guys in North frickin' Dakota? And there's 19 people living there. How many illegal immigrants could possibly be in that 19? Right. Yeah, <laughs> who's the Mossad spy, the black guy? Yeah, and by the way, how did he get there? How did Bobby Harper end up in Lake North Dakota? I mean, That's a good point. Probably actually. welfare. Sure. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Bobby Harper is actually was questioned about this. Is that the obvious follow-up? Is well, what do you think about this? And he says, the more the word gets out, the better chance that we can move him out. People are welcome if they're here to improve our community, but they're here to bring hate. Uh, so he's being very level-headed <laughs> about the entire thing. <laughs> I'd be more worried, actually. Uh, I'd be a little more worried. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think we should like build a synagogue there. Like, just buy one of those cheap houses. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, no. look, we live in Los Angeles. Right. Going, that property's going for 5,000 bucks a block. I know I can get a guy down the street be like, hey, guess what? I just bought your whole town, motherfucker. <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build the world's largest synagogue. No, no, no. And I'm gonna hang that. a sign that said, Mexicans and blacks welcome. No, <laughs> okay. a, a Muslim activity center. That's what yes. you're gonna build there. <laughs> for the first time, we're gonna have a synagogue that does Sharia law. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fuck with this Nazi. <laughs> <laughs>